The welterweight division in professional boxing continues to be a special division that keeps on giving. Within the most star-studded and intense arena, new talents keep making themselves known and proving themselves to be ones to take seriously. One such boxer happens to be Goryaritin from Armenia, representing his country in a sport that historically hasn't had many of his compatriots. Riding on a respectable 17-0 undefeated record, he is currently aiming for the vacant WBC Continental America's title, opposing him on this stepping stone to eventually take a shot at becoming the world champion is the former international welterweight title holder Quentin Randall. The America's title could certainly be the ticket to bigger fights and thus, the duel ahead is bound to go hard. This is all that led up to it. The Dream Ahead Goria Risen was born on the 26th of December, 1994 in Yerevan, the capital city of Armenia. Growing up in the post-Soviet space, during an era of intense transition, he can be counted as part of a select generation originating from that region that has recently been taking the world of combat sports by storm. Like many others of that same generation, Iritsyn found his interest in combat sports, specifically boxing at a very young age. Since his start at the age of nine, he's kept himself consistent and disciplined in his pursuit while completing his schooling. His competitive history would begin very early on, as he went on to win a bronze medal at the 2010 European Junior Championships in the under-17 category and repeated the same feat at the 2011 European Youth Championships, this time having competed in the under-19 category. He had also become a six-time national amateur champion and has fought in numerous other tournaments, all amounting to an amateur career record standing at 151 and 30. He stated in more recent interviews that as an amateur, he's had about 200 fights in total. Of course, after the forging of such a well-fought record, it was time to go pro. Yuritsyn turned professional at the age of 22 on May 27, 2017. In his first professional bout, he fought against Denis Kensegalev in Russia, winning the match by TKO in the third round. Until 2019, most of his pro fights except for one were fought in Russia due to economic and geographical reasons. But his continued success and victories gave him bigger fights, and he soon earned more and more recognition not just in his native Armenia, but also from observers abroad. By the end of 2018, he had nine pro fights, resulting in nine wins and eight knockouts. He also secured the WBO Youth Welterweight belt with the second round stoppage of Algam Longombe in December 2018 in the Russian city of Kazan. This victory opened new doors for him to train in the United States, which is where he decided he had to be in order to advance his career. I know if I stayed home, I can't go forward in my career. Not in professional boxing, said Yuritsin. I worked every day. I trained every day there, but I can't fight. And after I came here, I understand why. I think if I don't go to the USA, maybe my career is done. He visited the States for a training camp in 2018, came back for more camps in 2019 and 2020. In the process, Yuritsin also signed with Punch Boxing Promotions in November 2019. Since then, he's pretty much been on a roll, except for sizable gap periods which saw him without any fights. Why was there such a gap? It was because the transition to living in the United States was not immediate, and it took a lot of time due to visa concerns and logistics. Not only did he have to wait a long time to clear up all his paperwork, he also had to have an elbow surgery in order to clear up an injury. It was only recently in 2023 that he made Los Angeles his home and began training under Freddie Roach at the Wild Card Gym. Just to recap, 2019 saw him win impressive victories in the U.S. against Shoki Sakai, which saw Sakai receive a garish cut, and a first-round TKO victory against Patrick Lopez in 2019. In 2020, he defeated Mahan Montez by knockout, but this was his last fight before his return to the ring in August 2023. His impressive performances during this time are what convinced Freddie Roach through and through. In August 2023, he vowed to fight more regularly and make up for lost time. He had a series of victories against Gustavo David Vittori, Virgilio June Deliguez, and Luis Alberto Verón. Fresh off his November 2023 victory against Luis Alberto Verón, he stands ready to take one step further in going on to reach the career heights that many had already expected him to reach. Quick draw and fire. Quentin Randall, on the other hand, has followed a radically different path to being a professional boxer. Born on September 24, 1990, he was born into exceptionally unfortunate circumstances. 
He grew up in a project in Houston, Texas, and this proved to be fertile ground for leading his adolescence and early adulthood into a troubled state, directly leading to several run-ins with the law. He had also become a father to a son at a young age. An important thing to note is the fact that he had dabbled a little bit in boxing during his teenage years, but it would be a while before he committed to it. This life as a juvenile offender and a petty criminal would end up biting him at the age of 18. This was when he was sentenced to three years in a Texas state maximum security penitentiary for burglary. Throughout these three years in hell, he was not a stranger to spending nearly 23 hours a day in solitary confinement. Through the prison system, he ordered a two-year subscription of the Ring magazine and practiced boxing in his cell. He used his mattress as a punching bag and learned boxing techniques from articles in the magazine. Pulling all the mental strength he could muster, he decided that boxing was the way for him to go in the future. In an interview with Fansided, he said, At first, it was extremely hard for me. So reading helped me get through, looking at my son's pictures, and then I just told myself day in and day out, when I leave here, I'm going straight to the gym, and I'm never looking back. When Randall left prison at the age of 21, he stayed true to his word and started training at a boxing gym. It would be nice to put a ball on Randall's story and say that life went on without a hitch as he climbed the boxing rankings. But life isn't that simple. Randall trained and fought as an amateur boxer for years while working numerous jobs, including as a chef for Top Golf and Benihana. In 2014, Randall was expecting a second child, but his daughter passed away at birth. Since then, he's focused all of his energy and strengths toward building a budding amateur career alongside taking care of his family. Within a short amateur record of 57 and 6, he also bagged victories in the 2016 U.S. Boxing National Championships and the 2017 Continental Championships. The getting was slow, but he eventually started his professional career in 2019, starting with the victory over one Ariel Vasquez. After going through the journeyman, he entered the COVID era, with somewhat decent success. Although he still had to miss out on opportunities so that he could focus on his family. Some of these fights were against Jan Carlos Rivera in 2020, William Jackson in 2021, and Ivan Alvarez in 2022. The fight with Alvarez is notable, on the other hand for ending without concussion, as a headbutt caused Alvarez to be unable to continue. He would fight a total of four fights in 2022, with each match after the one against Alvarez resulting in victories. It had the effect of greatly helping his career along, putting him in contention for the WBC USA Silver Welterweight belt in 2023. This he won in an eight-round fight against Terry Chatwood, who he defeated in the sixth round with a strong TKO finish. Unfortunately, 2023 for him ended with a stinging defeat at the hands of Brian Norman Jr. This lost him the WBO International Welterweight belt, but it's as if fate has smiled at him and given him the chance to fight for another belt this time against Goya Retson. A person with a weaker constitution might not have made it through the hardships that have befallen Randall. But Randall is a fighter in the ring and out. This shows itself clearly in the resounding blows and often brutal beatdowns he serves his opponents in the ring. I want to be a symbol of hope for people who've been in situations like me that have been through what I've been through, said Randall. If I can do it, you can do it too. Fighters compared. Goya Ritson boasts an impressive undefeated record of 17 wins, with 14 of those victories coming by way of knockout. He's forged such a record thanks to a massive reserve of stamina backing up great power in his blows. In his last fight, Ritson secured a career-best victory, with an eight-round unanimous decision over perennial contender Luis Alberto Verón at Madison Square Garden. Since being trained by the legendary Hall of Famer Freddie Roach, his defensive tactics and agility have both improved greatly. This has helped him avoid blows that would have usually gotten him earlier and managed to sneak in stinging counters in the process. Freddie Roach is stated to have said, I was very happy with Gore's performance on Friday, June 9th. He took care of business. He's developed into a good strong puncher who knows how to land the hard punch. I'm very pleased with his progress. Gore is a very talented prospect who should have no problem advancing to contender status. In comparison, Quentin Randall hasn't had the opportunity to develop much finesse as it comes to technicality and skill. Randall enters the ring with a record of 13 wins, one loss, and one draw. While he hasn't shown much technical prowess, he more than makes up for it with relentless aggression and constant pressure. The man never seems to tire out, and he will always grind his opponents down. Due to a rather one-dimensional approach to fighting, 
His only defeat came in a closely contested 10-round WBO International Welterweight title clash against Brian Norman. Since his defeat at the hands of Brian Norman, he's determined to bounce back and prove himself. He has a point to prove and is all about action. Most importantly, he's determined to make full use of this opportunity to gain another belt. But what do you think? Will Yuritsen maintain his streak? Or will Quentin Randall upset his good times in this hot pay-per-view? Leave us a like and subscribe. We'll see you again when the dust settles on the canvas.